The Unbelievable Reality of a Narcissist When Karma Strike Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving into a topic that's sure to spark some thought-provoking discussions, karma and narcissists. Have you ever wondered if narcissists truly get what's coming to them? Well, stick around because we're about to uncover the shocking truth. But before we dive in, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our community. Your support means everything to us, and it helps us keep bringing you content like this. Now let's talk about karma and narcissists. It's a complex interplay of actions and consequences, and today, we're going to explore how karma might be catching up with narcissists in ways you never imagined. From unexpected twists of fate to profound moments of self-reflection, karma has a way of making its presence known, even in the world of narcissism. So grab your popcorn and get ready for an eye-opening journey into the realm of narcissistic karma. Let's talk karma, folks. You know that cosmic force that dishes out what you put into the universe? Well, when it comes to narcissists, karma isn't just a concept, it's a reckoning. Picture it like a boomerang. Whatever they throw out into the world comes right back at them, full force. And let me tell you, when karma hits, it hits hard. Now here's the kicker. Sometimes, your absence is the ultimate karma for a narcissist. Even if they seem all hunky-dory with someone else, deep down, they're wrestling with the consequences of their actions. And I get it, you might want them to suffer, to feel the sting of their own misdeeds. But here's the thing about karma, it's not your personal vendetta. If you try to use it as a weapon, it'll come back to bite you twice as hard. Karma's like the universe's way of saying, hey, revenge isn't the answer. Now let's dive into the nitty-gritty of narcissistic karma. Sure, they might appear happy on the surface, but there's always this hunger for more, this insatiable craving for something bigger and better. And you know what? They're not alone in that feeling. But here's the twist. Their karma isn't always straightforward. Happiness. It's like trying to catch a butterfly with your bare hands, elusive and fleeting. So, what if losing you is the wake-up call they need? What if it's the catalyst for change, the push in the right direction? It might sound bizarre, but sometimes, losing something precious is the jolt we need to course correct. Sometimes you've got to let go and let karma do its thing. Holding on to a narcissist. That's like handing them the victory trophy on a silver platter. It keeps you stuck in their twisted game, feeding their power trip. But here's the kicker. Cutting ties, moving on, that's when their karma clock starts ticking. Now, picture this. Their karma isn't just a one-time slap on the wrist. Nah, it's more like a never-ending cycle of dissatisfaction. They might not end up alone, but they'll always be chasing after that next high. That next hit of validation that never quite satisfies. It's like running on a treadmill with no off switch, exhausting and ultimately fruitless. So, how do you break free from their grip? It's simple, really. Expose their games, stand up to them, and then hit the road. Stop playing their rigged game of life and watch as karma takes the wheel. But here's the catch. Karma's got its own timeline. It won't work its magic until you take that first step and walk away. Here's the bottom line. You hold the power to choose happiness, to break free from their toxic cycle. Meanwhile, they'll keep chasing that elusive carrot, growing more frustrated and unfulfilled with each passing day. It's not about age, it's about being stuck on a never-ending merry-go-round of their own making. So, let's talk karma. What's your take on it? Don't hold back, share your thoughts down below. It's crucial to let your feelings out, rather than letting them simmer inside. We're all here to support each other, to grow, to heal. And remember, safeguarding your peace is key. It's something many narcissists will never grasp, and maybe that's their cosmic payback. But hey, leave it to the universe to sort out. We've got bigger fish to fry, and by fish, I mean narcissists. Ever notice how narcissists are like hamsters on a wheel, always chasing happiness but never quite catching it? Maybe that's their karmic sentence, living with the fallout of their actions. Sure, some of them might not deserve forgiveness, but that's just how karma rolls. Before I sign off, here's a little nugget of wisdom. If you're feeling the weight of karma or just need some self-love, consider starting a love journal. Trust me, it's a game changer. And hey, hit that like and subscribe button if you're vibing with this content. And while you're at it, drop a comment below. What's your take on karma? Let's hear it. 
Remember, protect your peace at all costs.